Hello everyone, I'm Joel and this is artbyjoel.org. Thank you for coming to my website. These are tutorials that I'll be doing on my website. Uh, this is my very first one, so it's really exciting! Woo! We are coming at you, not live, from my art studio here in downtown Toronto, Ontario. Also, um, Vicky Licks' Drag Closet and Drag Studio, my partner DJ, he's not here tonight, so we're filming. Uh, he's out, he's out, he's out for the count. <clears throat> he's working. Artbyjoel.org is my website where I'm showcasing my art, I'm showcasing comedy, I'm showcasing my writing, and I'm showcasing... Um, this, videos um, involving like parody videos or tutorials or whatever, because I love it all. I haven't actually done this technique before, so I'm learning with you! So this, uh, today we're going to do a technique involving acrylic paints, something different, changing it up, keeping it fresh. Acrylic is all I use. With alcohol. Woo! Very fun. Rubbing alcohol is something I haven't used before with acrylics. So um, this is, again, this is something really new and different. Um, is this alcohol? Oh, it's the French side. Oh my god. <sighs> Joel, rubbing alcohol is something I haven't used before with acrylics. So this is very exciting. Let's get started. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is our blank canvas. It is, what, oh, what size is this? Oh, I'm gonna say it's 16 by 20. Yes, we're using a blank canvas that's 16 by 20. It's very nice. So what you're gonna wanna use for your supplies is this applicator which has a nice fluffy end that's delicate, cute. Um, you're also going to want to use your, of course, your paints. So we have um, these acrylic uh, paints. So this is Tutti Frutti, oh, Rudy, uh, pink. We have uh, daffodil yellow, cute. And uh, what is this? Pure pumpkin. That's original. Uh, so we have these acrylics, which are really cute. I wanted like a like kind of like a delicate, a delicate like kind of painting. So I use really like delicate, cute, eastery kind of colors. You can buy these um, acrylics at the dollar store because I I buy everything from the dollar. These are from the dollar store. FYI, I don't care. I don't give a. Sh I buy everything from the dollar store. I bought this palette from the dollar store. It's a palette. Look, everyone, for the uh, non-art people, this is what we use to mix our colors with. <laughs> Cute. And, of course, we're going to need to use our rubbing alcohol, a.k.a. alcohol. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, so we put a little bit of the Tutti Frutti, All Rudy, uh, paint into our palette. And we're going to use a little bit of the water just to make it uh, a little looser. Loosen up the paint. And this is actually the first time I've ever used water with acrylics. I've just used only um, just the harsh, obvious um, acrylic paint. Um, so we're just going to lightly uh, paint this on, which is really cute. If you hear something in the background, that's my horse that... Uh, I have living with me. No, it's our pet, Una. She's a great dame. She's a big sweetheart. Oh, is she watching? Una, are you watching, Daddy? What's happening? Oh, I know. What is he doing? Oh, this looks so stupid, Dad. Oh, Dad, this looks stupid. What are you doing? She's a big... She's a big bugger. She's so cute. You can't see her. Una, you're not on film. No. No, and how you apply this to the canvas is just, you know, it's easy peasy. You don't need to have the brush strokes not in there. It's okay. They'll go away. Um, so apply this to the whole canvas, which is really cool. 
Look how pretty. And be aware that you're going to want to maybe put a little drop cloth down, which is what I should have done, actually. Oh, crap. Um, uh, I'm going to pause. Oops, what did I do? I'm going to pause this because I should put a drop cloth down, uh, applying this paint to the canvas. And you can make it as dark or as light as you want. It's okay. Um, you know, not too light because you're going to want to have the reaction of the alcohol dripping onto it. Um, just a dark shade of the color you're using will be good. Now we're going to drip some of the rubbing alcohol onto it. So this is the rubbing alcohol. I'm using just like Life Brand from Shoppers. I don't know if there's another um, kind of rubbing alcohol that you can use for this kind of project. I'm sure there is, and there might be a more proper name for it. However, we only have this one on hand for this tutorial. Sorry! And, oh my god, it's got the stupid foil. Ugh. Okay, we got it open. So now we're going to do some blotches on the painting. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do this, but I'm just kind of like dripping out of the bottle um, different patterns. The alcohol, when it hits the acrylic, um, that's already wet. So keep the acrylic wet, quickly add it, then add the rubbing alcohol by drops. So you're going to want to let this dry with this color that you're using. And then after it's dried, you're going to do it all over again. So we're going to let this dry and we'll be right back. Now, if you're impatient like I am and time is like a thing for you, you can always bring out Old Faithful with acrylics. Okay, so now the canvas is completely dry. You're going to want to use uh, a fully dry canvas to start a new color with. Now we're going to start a new color. We're going to use a nice daffodil yellow. Cute, right? Haha. <laughs> So just put it all over on top of the previous color. It's okay if some parts, again, are more solid colors than others. It doesn't really matter. It's just cover it. Um, and then it will show that pattern kind of through. And then we will use the same effect with the alcohol, the rubbing alcohol, on top of the pink. So now we're going to get our rubbing alcohol after the yellow's on. And don't use this alcohol. <laughs> and I'm going to use my fingers and just splot it on. Just change it up a bit. All right, so I went ahead and I did all of the uh, yellow on top of the pink um, with the alcohol, like the rubbing alcohol splotches, and the drying of the Old Faithful blow dryer. Um, so it's all done, uh, and this is how it looks, which is really cute. Um, so I gave you back three minutes into your life. You're welcome. Uh, so uh, also thinking about it, I'm 86ing the pure pumpkin color, because I find that with the pink and the yellow, it's turning into already like this orangey, tangerine kind of color, uh, which is really charming. I love it. I don't want to mess with it or add something to it that's already done. So I'm going to use turquoise, which is a different color to add to this already really pretty kind of color scheme. Is everyone having fun? So don't get worried if um, you find that you're just painting over something that's really cute already done. It'll come back around using the rubbing alcohol. That's the whole point of using the rubbing alcohol because it, it breaks apart this solid color that I'm doing with the turquoise on top of it. Cool! See how it's already like it breaks through the blue turquoise and reveals yellow and pink behind it. Which makes it cute! It looks kind of 80s, eh? This little 80s dinosaur. Anyway, so we're gonna pause this for now and come back to it after it's all dry. Right? So we use the blue instead, and it's given this, like, different texture to it that's very organic. It's very, like, almost one of those, like, tropical seashells, you know, that has that, like, blue and pink and yellow um, shimmering inside of it. So 
the colors are getting more and more vibrant. The canvas is taking more and more shape and I'm getting more and more drunk. We're gonna use the, per the um, Pure Pumpkin. Um, it is a really cool color. Uh, I think it'll add a different effect when it's added on top of the blue instead of the pink and yellow. So we're just gonna add this pumpkin on top. It looks cute, look, see, it's nice. We like the pumpkin, everyone calm down. All right, everyone ready? Oh, see how fun this is, it's so cute. Oh, see? All right, so I dried the orange, it looks really cool. I wanna add one more layer. So the thing about this is you can keep adding layers. I guess you can keep, you know what I mean, like adding layers and layers and layers of different colors, but I'm gonna use the Tutti Frutti, or a Rudy color, and the yellow um, for different parts, uh, just to change it up. There, that's a less harsh pink, and then we're gonna do this yellow. Hey! Ugh. Bam. Okay, so I'm stopping here with the layering. I really love how it turned out. It looks really pretty. Super cute. I love how the pink here is a bit more darker than like this yellow area. Like, I love it. So now we're going to do a, a print on top of this. Um, I found this look kind of like sugary, kind of sweet 16 birthday cakey kind of. So I'm going to do, um, I have a, if you don't know, if you go to www.artbyjoel.org, I have my floral section that I'm really big into right now. So I'm going to do a floral pattern of a flower and it's going to be a vanilla bean flower. <laughs> everybody thanks so much for watching that was fun huh um please check out more of my website uh www.artbyjoel.org uh, i have a comedy album on there uh, i love doing sketches and characters and voices so you can check that out and uh, you can also check out more paintings like this on the website to purchase um, or just to read more about i think this turned out pretty cool uh, i'm calling it delicate vanilla and uh, please enjoy a bottle of wine on me. Cheers! Happy arting!